In this one, we're going to have a look at income tax, focusing on PAYE, which is pay as you earn. Um, there are other forms of income tax like USC and PRSI, but I won't be looking at them in this video. For this, we're just going to focus on PAYE in Ireland. But before we get into the nitty gritty calculations, this comes with a lot of theory. Okay, so you really have to understand these terms and these two equations and the relationships between them. Okay, so gross income is income before tax is deducted. Your net income then is your income after tax is deducted, so your take home pay. Tax payable is the amount of tax deducted from your gross income. Okay, and that's where you get this formula. So your net income, so your take home pay, the pay that you can do what you want with, that's your money, comes from your gross income, which is the total amount you are paid from your job, minus the tax you have to pay the government. Okay, and it's worth noting actually, um, that this tax payable is sometimes referred to as net tax. Yeah, that's the tax you have to pay. Uh, then you have these ta things called tax credits. So they're this amount of, um, deducted from your gross tax. Okay, and this video will focus particularly on how to calculate the gross tax of PAYE, your gross PAYE. Um, lastly, we have this Latin word per annum, that means per year. Okay, so normally they'll say, you normally begin something like she earns 50,000 per annum, which is per year, it's her gross income. Um, and then we have this last formula. So your tax payable or your net tax, the tax you have to pay, is equal to the gross tax, which we will have to calculate, minus the tax credits. Tax credits are like the government's way of saying, oh, we need to take your money, but we won't take all of it. We'll give you this amount back. We won't charge you on this amount. Okay. Um, one thing as well to note is that normally when you see gross in front of something, so gross income, gross tax, it means deductions haven't been made. Okay. So like, say, for example, gross tax, we haven't taken away the tax credits. Right. Likewise, when you see the word net in front of something, that normally means that deductions have been made. So like net income, tax has been deducted. Tax payable, net tax, your tax credits have been taken off your bill, basically. Okay. Um, now, about this thing of gross tax. So in Ireland, we have a standard rate, we have a higher rate. Okay, it depends on your income. So if I have a really high income, I have a standard rate cutoff point. Okay, so on the first, so up to that standard rate cutoff point, it could be 20,000, it could be 40,000, it could be 60,000. It really depends on the individual and what they work as and if they're single, if they're married, etc. Okay, but I have to pay 20% on my income up to that standard point. Okay, we call that the standard rate cutoff point. Right, but anything I earn above that, I have to pay 40% tax on, and that's called the higher rate. So your your PAYE is made up of two components. So you have to find 20% of the standard rate cutoff point, and then 40% of what you, you earn above that. And then you basically add those together to get the tax, your gross tax, okay? Now, for the purpose of this video, we're only going to focus on PAYE, so which is this. Your gross tax can also include your USC and your PRSI, okay, but we haven't done those yet. So I'm going to just refer to gross tax as this at the moment. Your gross tax, though, remember, is your complete and total tax. All right, but for the moment, all we're focusing on is PAYE. <clears throat> okay, this We'll see more clear if we have an example right so here i have someone they have a gross income of forty-five thousand. the lower rate is 20 percent. that's the standard rate in ireland and the higher rate is 40 percent. and the standard rate cutoff point is thirty-five thousand three hundred. right so we each calculate their gross tax now this person is earning forty-five thousand. So they're earning above the standard rate cutoff point, right? So their gross tax is going to be made up of 20% of the income up to the standard rate cutoff point, 
So what that is, is basically 20% of 35,300 and then 40% of what they earn above of every of income above 35,300. Okay, so they have to pay 20% so the standard rate up until this point, okay, and when their income surpasses 35,300, they have to pay 45% on whatever is above that, right? So getting 20% of 35,300 is not an issue. We just multiply 35,300 by 0 0.2. And that gives me... Seven thousand and sixty. Right, so that's my tax at the standard rate. But then we have this forty percent of the higher rate that we have to pay on everything we earn above thirty five thousand three hundred. So, in this case, excuse me, we're earning forty five thousand three hundred or forty five thousand. Right. So, in order to find out exactly how much we earn above this, we'll take the standard rate cutoff point from our gross income. That's 9,700. So we have to pay 40% on this. Okay, so if I multiply that by 0 0.4, I'll get 40%. And that's 3,880. Okay, so my gross tax then. Hopefully you can still see this in the video, but right now, no. Yes, you can. Okay. My gross tax. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. My gross tax is the two of these added together. So what I'm charged at the standard rate and what I'm charged at the higher rate. Okay. So that's 7,060 plus 3,880. So that's 10,940. So that there is my gross PAYE, my gross tax. Okay, if I was to go ahead and calculate USC and PRSI, that's two other types of tax, I would add them to get my actual gross tax. But for the minute when I'm talking about gross tax in this video, I'm just talking about how much PAYE because we're not factoring in USC or PRSI into this video. Okay, let's have a more detailed example that goes from so it starts from gross income and works all the way down to net income. Okay, and it involves calculating gross tax. So let's see what's going here. Um, right, we have this this one, Naomi. She's earning 93,000 per annum, so per year. So that is her gross income. Her standard rate cutoff point is 44,300. So I'm just going to say standard rate cut off point. It's 44,300. And her tax credits. So we haven't seen these in action yet, but we will now. They're 3,300. Calculate her net income. Okay, so she's taxed at the higher rate or this lower rate of the standard rate is 20% and or sorry, she's taxed at the standard rate of 20% up until this point, and then she's taxed at the higher rate of 40%. That's just how it is in Ireland, okay? That doesn't change. Right, so, okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find out what her gross tax is. Because if we look at this, we need to get her net income. We have her gross income, but we need her tax payable. We don't have that. But in order to get our tax payable, we need her gross tax, which we don't have either. Thankfully, we have our tax credits, so that's lovely. Okay, let's begin. So, gross tax. So again, this is going back to the 20% of the standard rate cutoff point and the 40% of income above that. So income above the standard rate cutoff point. Okay, so the standard rate cutoff point here is 44,300. So she has to pay 20% on her income up to that point. So she basically has to pay 
20% of 44,300. So that's 8,860 euro. That's what she's taxed at the standard rate. But now anything she earns above 44,300 is going to be taxed at 40%. And her gross income is 93,000. So she's earned a good bit above 44,300. In order to figure out exactly what she is earning above that point, we're going to take it from her gross income. So that is... 48,700. So she's going to have to pay 40% of this to the government. Because that is the amount that she earns above the standard rate cutoff point. So let's work out exactly what that is. So it'll be 48,700 times 0 0.4 to get 40%. Okay, again, if you're dodgy with percentages, go back to the video on percentages and VAT and have a look at that. And that's 19,480. That is a lot of tax, oh good Lord. Okay, I'm going to cover this up for the minute, just so I have more paper room. Okay, so our last step, is to add the two components of her gross tax together in order to get her total gross tax. So her gross tax is 8,860 plus 19,480. And that is, ooh, 28,340. Okay, so that's her gross tax. Now, if I take this away for a minute. Okay. We have her gross tax, we have her tax credits, so now we can get her tax payable. So her tax payable is equal to her gross tax minus her tax credits. So that is the tax that she has to pay. She doesn't have to pay this amount, she has to pay this amount minus her tax credits, which we were told are 3,300. So our tax payable then is 28,340 minus 3,300. So that is 25,040. Okay. Now to get her net income, Again, if I go back to this page, her net income is equal to her gross income minus her tax payable. So we now know her tax payable. We just worked it out. We took away her tax credits from her gross tax. We got her tax payable. And we also know her gross income. We were told that at the start. So her net income is going to be equal to her gross income. 93,000 minus her tax payable, which is 25,040. which is 67,960. So although she earns 93,000 per year, she only gets to spend 67,960 of that on herself. Okay, because she has to give the rest in taxes. All right, so as well, this whole 20% standard rate and 40% higher rate, that's to tax people who like it's, it's in order, it's, it means taxes are varied. So as in someone who is earning half the amount that Naomi is won't be paying that much in tax. Okay, it's a way of it's a way of sparing it, depending on your gross income. And like I said, your standard rate cutoff point is going to depend on what your gross income is. But normally the question will give you that. Okay. In the next video on income tax, we're going to have a look at PAYE again, but in this case, in the next case, we're going to have a look at 
when it's not so straightforward, when you have to use a bit of algebra and rearranging with it.